All right, let's start this event, chat. Let's start it. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Carrara already, dude? What? <gasps> Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? Yeah, she's going to open up a, a, a gathering place and call it the cat's tails. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? Huh? Wow. Um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? Oh, well, uh... <laughs> yeah? Oh, uh, sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Me either. Who's Diana chatting with? I've seen Yai with a ton, though. From her outfit, Paimon would guess she's probably from Inazuma. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. Uh-oh. Huh? You think I can grow two tails as well? Sure. You're a yokai too, right? Your yokai <laughs> must be really strong if you can already take on human form. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out. Just like that. <laughs> People started calling me, uh... uh um, uh... Nekomata, I think? Nekomata. Nekomata? No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Cat's line oh, bloodline. So, you're not a monster yokai? Do, do, have we, do we even have know? Like yeah, I was going to say. Is this your first time here? Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding. So I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over to that. Hell yeah. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going, or I'll be late for my next customer. Who is it? Diona of the Ketzline clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Great. Feel free to come hang out anytime. Aw, that's cute, dude. That's cute. Wait, I just realized. Hmm. Do only yokai have tails in Inazuma? Okay, this might sound like a really stupid question, but I've, I I've never looked closely at Diona's design. Does she have actual cat hands? <laughs> Am I dumb? Are they gloves? Yes, she has cat hands. Oh my god, dude. I never noticed that. Never. I noticed the feet when she was running, but never the hands. Hey, Diana. Interesting. Hmm? Oh, Traveler and Paimon. Hey, what brings you back to Mondstadt? Uh, TCG. Well, we figured it's been a while since we visited the cat's tail, so we thought we'd come and say hi. <laughs> oh, and by the way, who was that just now? Oh, she's a courier from Komania Express. They're an international delivery service operating out of Inazuma. Bro, they've got to be gloves, right? I've never noticed this. I'm sorry, this is throwing me the this is throwing me off so much, dude. This is throwing me off. I've never noticed that. That's got to be gloves. Huh? Is the cat still doing international business now? No, 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 no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komania Express to pick them up. <laughs> That's all. I didn't mind. Hmm. You've been to Inazuma, right? Uh-huh. Did you, um, see lots of yokai like her there? Uh, we saw some with wings on their back and others with fox ears. Yaibiko, baby, let's go. Right! But this is actually <laughs> the first time we've ever seen one with two tails. Whoa! I'd love to go see for myself one day. Huh. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? TCG! Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently there's prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. It's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. But oh, damn. I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. Okay. Hey. Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Huh, what do you mean, luck? <laughs> I'm the one who taught you how to play, after all. Thanks, coach. We'll make you proud. That's meow. I like it. Okay, you two should probably get going now. Head to the Fountain Plaza. My boss usually takes a walk around there at this time of day. All right, we'll go there right away. All right, let's go. Wait, someone said... Tignari has those kind of gloves as well. Wait, there's no way, dude. What? Tignari's just got gloves. Wait, he does have those gloves. Hmm. He does. 
they've got the little markings. Check Goro. He wears gloves for his bow and arrow, right? So he's got this one, this one for holding the bow and this one for the strings. Was that a fish? I'm a fish. Hey, Margaret. We thought we might find you here. Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has. Yes. Back to play some cards? Indeed. Uh, it's not like we only ever come back to Mondstadt to play cards. I mean, it, to be fair, it is for a lot of people. I always come back to Mondstadt. I basically live here. Oh, really? I just assumed you were here to take part in the King of Invocations Grand Prix. King of Invocations Grand Prix? Oh, mm. that must be the Adventurers Guild one that Diana mentioned. Mm hmm. I mean, That's I'm down. One. Genius Invocation TCG has been attracting more and more players lately. The Adventurers Guild arranged for venues in every city to hold a regional tournament for the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The rewards are quite substantial. Mondstadt hmm. is already at the final stage, so I'm afraid you might be a little too late to get that prize. Really? I mean, that's fine. Oh, darn! We already promised Diana we'd treat her to some food with the Moro we won! It's all right. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's Probably back to Inazuma, dude. ...static with all the success, don't you think? It's unbelievably popular. Yeah, and it only gets more fun the more people there are to play it with. I really want to play it now. I want to win that tournament. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Sure. Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can hardly contain their enthusiasm. <laughs> so they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. Bro, I feel like this is breaking the fourth wall a lot. <laughs> you can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Pog. Oh, and the rewards are pretty generous too. I feel like it is breaking the fourth wall. Are you talking directly at me? Sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. We'll go check it out. You're welcome. Right, bye. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> Bro, I read it before it got read out, and I thought it said there were plenty of boobs at the venue. Right. If there's nothing else you need, not quite. I'll be continuing my walk now. I right, enjoy enjoy the walk. Uh, Revel, though, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> With your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie. What do you mean, my abilities? Just imagine it. <laughs> Honorary Knight defeats foes and emerges <gasps> as tournament champion. The headline practically writes itself. Win played. I forgot Charlotte would be in this, dude. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Hello. Hello. Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? That's March 7th. Oh, I, I, sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. I mean, Pomp. Let me introduce oh. myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Oh my god, I need her and Layla to have a conversation, dude. Holy shit. I'd be like, hey, Layla, how you doing? I'm doing okay, I think. Maybe you should go to sleep so you can get your sleepwalk yourself out and then you can talk fast like me. Bro, based character. I like characters that talk quick. Sounds familiar. Oh yeah, didn't Mona do uh, columns the of the Steam Bird? Bird is a major news outlet headquartered in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over Tavat. We even have regular columnists based right here in Monster. Yeah, Mona, right? Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Huge news stories. Oh God! Are you sure, your senses are reliable. Absolutely. After all, I've seen it with my own eyes. There's a criminal who's been slinking around the competition venue, and his name is the Card Snatcher. <gasps> the Card Snatcher. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. He stole his opponent's cards when they weren't looking. I was about to try and chase him down, but the next moment, he disappeared into thin air. But why would someone? Steal other people's cards. Mm, maybe to get an edge over his opponents. <laughs> Whatever the truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. 
So, what do you think? Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? I'm down. That does sound interesting. But why us? Any reason you singled us out in particular? Are you kidding me? I saw you for the Astral Express. A no <laughs> considering you're the honorary knight who saved Mondstadt. The hero of Liyue who fought alongside the Adepti. A key player in the repealing of Inazuma Sokoku decree. And the redeemer of the Sumeru Academia. I mean, surely you know that we're on our way to Fontaine next then, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Point taken. Yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? Can't you wait until the end of the game where they're like, The bringer of wind from Mondstadt and the breaker of rocks from Leoy and then the bringer of thunder from Inazuma. And the, and the, oh yeah, and then the leaves in in Sumeru as well. There's a lot, you got a lot of water in Fontaine and then there was the fire in Natlan and then uh, you got pretty cold. It, like it did, it's just never ending, dude. I promise you, teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, <laughs> you'll be credited as contributors. Oh, hell yes. Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. I like her voice. That actually sounds genuinely useful. It does. What do you think, Traveler? And this card snatcher sounds interesting. Great! Then welcome to the news crew. Ah, oh, I've heard that the traveler always lends a helping hand. So it's nice to know that you live up to your reputation. But even nicer to experience it for myself. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steam Oh, we're going to go see Boda? Management thought that a cash bonus was in order. So I brought it along with me. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now? Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off the Mora, then we'll be on our way. <laughs> Hell yeah. I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. From what I've heard, you're quite well acquainted. I'm surprised they haven't either, to be oh, honest. it's someone we know? What? Mm, that doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people in Mondstadt. Wait, hasn't she literally told us to our face that she's... Wrote columns for the Steambird. <sighs> Never mind. Just lead the way, Charlotte. She has. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm sure I've heard it like actually in game. Who could it be? Slow down. I wanted to see the vision. Okay. D stop running. <laughs> You're rich friends, I'd assume. After all, you gotta be pretty well off to live in the city, right? Uh, that still doesn't really narrow it down. Charlotte. You know lots of people with lots of mora. Stop fucking running. Wow. I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. Charlotte, stop! God! Soon. I'll get it. Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> knock, knock. Huh? Oh, so it's... Oh, you imagine paying attention to Mona, dude. Imagine. Who is it? Can I help you? Oh, Traveler and Paimon, what brings you here? And <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't believe we have. You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. <laughs> a little bit better, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash bonus. She got Mona's full oh, name damn. And title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. She does. Ah, you must be Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. She probably swam. Or ice bridged. No trouble at all. It was on the way. Wow. Sounds like your articles are a real hit with readers all over Tibet, Mona. It was on the way to where? Where are you going that's further than Monstet? Have I never told you? Well, I've been writing my column All Things Astrological for the Steambird for a long time now. No, motherfucker, you have told us. I'm pretty sure probably more than once. <laughs> the chief editor wrote to me a while ago about the bonus. Thank goodness it's finally here. I was wondering when it would arrive. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. Huh, you make it sound like you really needed this. 
Are you pressed for money, Mona? Oh, God. What? No, of course not. It's just that once I knew the bonus was coming, I reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Classic Mona. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect! Renowned astrologist broken starving. Do the stars really have all the answers? <laughs> the article practically writes itself. And on the left we have Charlotte with the wait, fuck. Damn it, the 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 the, the filter. I like doing that voice with the filter. Damn it, Charlotte, do it for longer. Sounds a little exaggerated, don't you think? Uh is actually super rich. It's just that astrology research is really expensive. Super rich is a bit of a stretch. Uh, I don't uh, think it is. You anyway, are pretty damn rich. Enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Originally, we just came to catch up with a friend of ours. But some things have come up, and now we're helping Charlotte investigate the case of the card snatcher. Chat, I'm going to take a look at the vision when we're not in the middle of a cutscene. I want to I wanna focus on the on the cutscenes when I'm in it, and I want to look at the vision when, it's, when she's just out of a cutscene. Speaking of which, will you be competing in the King of Invocations Grand Prix? Where it is that the prizes are pretty stellar. I'm much too busy with my research these days to dedicate time to a competition. Besides, Fair. if I did enter, there's no guarantee I'd actually win a prize, is there? True. Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist <laughs> would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Oh, God. Well said. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway... If past precedent is anything to go by, you're the ones who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this card snatcher, was it? Sounds like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? Yes. Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. No, do Relying it. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. God damn it. But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journos have our ways. All right. Well, best of luck with your investigation then. Well, thank you, Thanks Mona. Again for bringing the bonus, Charlotte. Do give my regards to the chief editor. Take care of yourself, Mona. Also, we should play another game of TCG sometime. <laughs> I will. And yes, we should. I'll hold you to that. Okay. <laughs> you do that. I never heard Mona's EN voice. It I sounds think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. Like a teasing auntie? It's fine, fine. I'm not worried. I'll check it out in game. I'll, I know I'll be able to see it in game eventually. All right. It's fine. I Thank you, though. To find out who the finalists are. Uh, I'm sure she'll stand still at some point. Go to the competition venue. See, this is right. I, <laughs> I'm not even wow. there. So this is the venue, huh? Seems pretty lively here. I'm still downstairs. Dog. I want the dog. Kaya! Bulls. Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch <laughs> Timmy and me in the final? Wait, Timmy and Kaya? You made it to the finals? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Bavonius? Dude. You better not be slacking off again. Kaya's about to get absolutely fucking dogpiled by a little boy at his fucking ruin garden pigeons, dude. Oh, no. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. I just get friend zone. Uh, enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work. Can you? Oh, just be sure not to tell Diona I said that. Mm. Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? I have, that he called me his friend. People stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Oh. Stealing cards, you say? Yes. I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Well... We just ran into this journalist from Fontaine, and she... Huh? 
<laughs> she probably got a clue. She, was right here, wasn't she? she probably got a clue, Paimon. Saw something. What? No. Journalist from Fontaine. Oh, you mean the one from the Steambird? I do recall seeing a Steambird reporter listed in the Knights of Favonius visitor log. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that she saw a card snatcher at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. <laughs> Objection! Yo, she doing some fucking investigative side eyes going on right now. Are you seeing this? You seeing this chat? A card snatcher? Yeah. Hmm. How very interesting. But one question, Paimon. The dog. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Huh? Huh? What makes you say that? Hello, everyone. Your attention, please. The final is about to begin. Now, let's give a warm welcome to our two contestants. <laughs> oh, God. I guess we'll have to leave it there. Let's continue this conversation <laughs> another time. All right, good luck, Kaya. Give it your best. Thanks, Traveler. You're welcome, husband. <laughs> Yeah, oh god. I feel like Kaya's gonna get absolutely destroyed, dude. So, Traveler, who do you think is gonna win? Pretty sure Timmy will win. Yeah, I think Timmy will win. Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Mm hmm. By the way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines, isn't that Charlotte's job? Huh. Maybe she got caught up trying out all the delicious Mondstadt snacks. Probably. So let's go look for her. Paimon's projecting today, dude. Yo, give me a book. King of Invocations. Ah, oh, wait, what is, who is that? I guess that's the king? I thought it was Bennett, did. That's you? <laughs> is that you, Chant? Charlotte, what happened? You just disappeared without saying anything. Oh, I just didn't want to bother you while you were catching up with your friend. Aw. But Kaya's one of the finalists. You're a liar. Don't you want to interview him or something? You did say you were supposed to be covering the competition. True. I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Oh. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. Oh, the card snatches. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely. Like mm. they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Interesting. Hmm? <gasps> you mean there are two card snatchers? <gasps> Shh, keep your voice down. We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. She thinks Kaya is soft. I mean, I could, uh, I could, I could prove that wrong. I huh? You, wait, <laughs> where'd the other guy go? Huh? He's on the run! <laughs> After him! Let's go! <laughs> Chase him down! <laughs> Chase him down! <laughs> Follow the suspicious person. Uh, you seem like you've done this before. Do you spy him? God damn it, I'm too quick with your land, dude. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. <laughs> oh, he's out, he did. He's going swimming. Now he's heading away from the city. How long are we going to follow him for? Oh, at this rate, we're going to miss Kaya and Timmy's match. Oh, no. I don't want to miss the match, though. I actually kind of want to see it. That would be a cool way to introduce the <laughs> observation thing, right? Because didn't they say you can observe? Wait, did they? I'm sure they had that. Not observe. Spectate? Can you spectate now? No? I feel like spectate would be a, a kind of cool thing to add. Spectate would be a very cool thing to add. They should add that. I'm, su I'm sure I remember. Oh, it was replay they added. So it's kind of like spectate, but not live. Oh, there. Looks like he stopped. Uh -oh. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Oh, well. Why did he come all the way out here? Is he going to hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. What? <gasps> Wait! Treasure hoarders! He's in trouble! Oh, it's the treasure hoarders that are stealing them. Quick! We need to rescue him! Help! Someone save me! Hmm? What are the treasure hoarders doing so close to the city? Good question! Are you alright? Oh god! <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was all over for me. Uh, it might Those be. Those treasure hoarders. Did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. You're burning. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just uh, out for a walk, minding my own business. And then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Oh, God. I think he was a victim of it. Huh? A deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -mm 
Uh, well, that's <laughs> a shame. Uh, uh, you see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. Oh. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question. <laughs> the sweat drop did. Hmm, maybe Objection. I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? Oh, that smug smile. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, please. I'll, I'll, I'll talk. But you gotta believe me. There's nothing shady going on. I swear. What is it then, Adrian? Wow. That was some serious bluffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all. Back at the tournament, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Oh? Really? What kind of card back was it? Either a scammer uh, or Sino. Nothing special. I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. Oh. I could hardly believe my luck. So I uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the mora was real. That's when I so, ran into the treasure hoarders. Time to put my detective hat on. Okay. So much. I mean, Pom Pom. I mean, uh, Charlotte. It looks to me like... Wait, wait, wait. That filter that she uses. Hold on. It looks to me like this guy got a card for dirt cheap and then the treasure hoarders were like, I'll buy it off you for three times the price and then pay them three times the price. But then they, after they paid three times the price, they followed him out of the city, robbed him blind and took the money back. So they got a free TCG card back. D did, I, uh, did, I, did I get it? Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? No, I didn't. Oh. The Genius Invocation TCG has been getting pretty popular lately, and some people will pay good mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the monster at once. Hmm. Next stop, Liyue. Yeah, that's not sign off. like that. That's not sign oh, Something like that. He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? Maybe it is Sino. Yeah, I can't know. tell, but dude. In the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? True. Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. Mm. It sounds like that guy's just collecting rare card bags. Are you sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? No, this is Sino's art. He would never do anything shady. But he's not doing anything shady if he's nothing to do with the treasure hoarders and the treasure hoarders are doing the sus shit, right? If he's just paying 3x the price, it's not shady. Well, it so it's hard to tell. Doesn't add up. You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? I, I, My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news. Do you think there's real treasure involved? Ooh, treasure! Maybe the card bags make a treasure map. You know, collect all the pieces, put them together, and they reveal where the treasure is buried. Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely onto something. Hmm. Even though I didn't manage to get a good look at his face, his physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Lua next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Lua, too! True. Wait, shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Good it's idea. gotta be Timmy, Let's dude. Go. If Timmy doesn't win, then Hoya will lose in the funny fun. There's absolutely no way that they, they let Kaya win that, dude. There's absolutely no shot. I love Kaya. Uh, if it was anything else, I would want him to win. I will bet you five gifted subs that Timmy wins. I don't think they. I don't think they. They would have him take part and not win. I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... T 
Timmy! Let's go, Timmy! Wow, Timmy <laughs> That's amazing! Let's go! Beast. Kaya, did you let him win or did you get stomped? I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. Now, at least you're gracious in defeat. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt. The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? Yes. I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. We found scammers. You tell Kaya everything that happened about the scammer. Hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. Mm -hmm. What the card snatcher's really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, come. I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, Damn it. our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. <laughs> Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Honestly true. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. All right. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? Probably. They look so young. Well, like academia students. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink. Mm. <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I could, I but... I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's hmm. as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. That's slightly weird. Why would you do that? What a mysterious couple of game designers. Either they don't want to play the game... Or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Maybe. If you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Hearing that... Hearing that that put you at... What the fuck? Hearing that that put you at ease puts me at ease. Oh, Jesus. Holy fuck. Anyway, That's hard. our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Huh? Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. It's always food time for <laughs> Paimon, dude. You can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after... I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Sounds great! Thanks, Kaya! Thanks, husband. Um... Oh, wow, that was day one already? Wait, that was actually quicker than I expected. Never mind. Oh, that just went quick, I guess. <gasps> a box! I love box! Yo, Carrara! Look! A fucking box! Hi, Kaya. Hey there. Something else you wanted to discuss? How are the Knights of Favonius holding up? Don't worry. Everyone's just fine. I actually managed to convince Jean to join me for a game. Oh? We only got part of the way through before she was called away. 
I ended up having to finish the match for the two of us. Huh. What can you do? Everyone has to put their work first. But, seeing how successful the tournament has turned out and how much fun everyone's had, I'm hoping that she at least has one less thing to worry about. Oh, I'm not that bothered about the TCG stuff. I'm assuming we could ask this later. Let me just check. The game's really caught on lately. Ah, never mind. It's a part of everyday life now. Everywhere you go, you see people playing it. In fact, some people have even given up drinking in order to keep a clear head during the game. <laughs> I'm sure Diona will be happy to hear that. Let's catch sure. up another time. We should have a game of Genius Invocation TCG when you get the chance. Mika! Hello, Mika. I'm looking for fucking March 7th, dude. There she is. Hold on. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Did I miss it? It's night time. You did uh, miss it, yeah. Mika, uh, too bad you weren't here to see it. I'm afraid that Captain Kaya lost. Uh-huh. What? Tell me everything. What happened? You got stomped well, by Timmy. I don't know much about Genius Invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. Oh. But I guess that was all part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. Oh, I, I feel like I feel like Timmy did the thing that we saw in that you laugh you lose, dude, and he was the fucking uh, was it Ito in that? No, who was it? I can't remember. I think it was Traveler. Where it was like, I summon Pot of Greed to draw two cards, and then I summon Pot of Greed to draw two more cards, and then I play this card and this card, which allows me to play Pot of Greed to draw two. He's like, that's not how it works. He's like, yes, it is. <laughs> I love it, dude. <sighs> but, you know, maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped the coin. <laughs> maybe. determined that Kaya would go second. True. <sighs> I need a drink. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Now's not the time to start <laughs> drinking your sorrows away. <laughs> that didn't sound like Mika. Knowing Captain Kaya, <laughs> he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Hey, why don't we learn how to play too? Maybe then, we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> um, though, I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Not a bad plan. Huh. Mika's an interesting character, dude. Oh, okay, let's have a look now. Oh, wait. Does Charlotte have a Fontaine Vision casing? Yo, is this the first time we get to see a Fontaine Vision casing? Yo, that's kind of pretty, dude. It looks like Lugia wings. It's Lugia wings, dude. What? <laughs> Lugia wings. My favorite Pokemon. Oh, I actually really like this vision. So wait, so Charlotte's going to be a cryo unit. Do you want to know what I imagine Charlotte as? Catalyst. I see her as a catalyst. I really do because of the camera and stuff as well. I imagine she's going to play kind of similar to Nahida and Mika in terms of like having one of those aimed E's. All right, Timmy. I won. I won. <laughs> okay, okay, goodbye, Timmy. Bye. <laughs> Genius invocation is so much fun. <laughs> Sorry. I won. I won. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. Thanks. I can't wait to tell my mom. This will make her really happy, won't it? Yeah, go tell your dad. Mom was the one who kept telling me I should join the tournament, so I'm gonna give the prizes to her. Oh, that's so cute. I really wish my dad could see me now. Oh, <laughs> bro, we we need to find his dad, dude. We need to find his dad. I don't think it's ever been confirmed that he was dead, has it? <gasps> Talk to Charlotte. Yeah, I am. City on the Lake teams with talent in TCG tournament as young prodigy Bess Favonian cavalry captain. <laughs> hmm, this title saves face for the knights, but lacks a little oomph. Top strategic mind of the knights of Favonius outsmarted by Bridge Boy in five round failure. Wait, they actually confirmed that his dad's like Dunzo? Where the hell was that confirmed? Captain's championship hopes crushed in dazzling dark horse defeat? <laughs> I like Bridge Boy. Maybe I should stick with my first draft. Maybe. Oh, in a commission? Oh, I don't think I've ever done it then. Well, technically for me, it's not confirmed yet. So it's okay, Timmy. He's coming back. It's about time for us to head out to Leeway. We've got a card snatcher to catch. 
Oh, dude. Okay. I don't want to, though. I fucking love Monster. Now I'm just sad a little bit. I don't really want to go to Leo, dude. I love Monster events. And I love Leo. Don't get me wrong. I love Leo and I love it. <laughs> what? Fucking T-poser. No, I, 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 I am a sucker for Monster, dude. I absolutely love Monster. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Yo, the J Chamber looks kind of sick, though. That was kind of sick, though. Bob, thank you for the 69 biddies as well. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Blue Harbor is still bustling as always. Where merchants flock and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. <laughs> still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Sure, it is beautiful. Welcome to Li Yue Harbor. Bye, one. You know Lady Ning Wong instructed me to wait for you here. Yeah. By, uh, which buy is it again? Not by Zhu. I assist Lady Ningguang with collecting and organizing intelligence. That's right, Byron. Paimon remembers now. The other two are Bai Shi and Bai Xiao. Lady Ningguang? You mean Tian Xuan of the Liyue Qixing? Is one of the secretaries the one that was down horrendous for Ning Wong, or was that just a random in the J Chamber? I, I'm pretty sure it was one of the secretaries, wasn't it? Yep, that's her. Yeah. But why does Ning Wong want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liyue Harbor today? Psychic. Lady Ning Wong likes to stay informed. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Hmm. What would she want with me? Oh. This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. She wants Lady your information. Lady has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with the Steambird who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. She also understands that in revealing the truth through your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international reporting trip to cover the Genius Invocation TCG events. Wait, what? That's terrible! Oh, poor Charlotte. Hmm. No, no, it's just part of the job. I'm already used to it. But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ningguang knows so much about my situation. Does she who's the boss? boss or something? Yeah, who's the boss, Charlotte? <laughs> Paimon wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Lady Ningguang also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Oh, you didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ningguang. Yup. Oh, Paimon wouldn't go that far. We've just been invited to the Jade Chamber as honored guests a couple times. <laughs> you know. Enough with the humble bragging, Paimon. I, but anyway, if Ningguang wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably going to be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ningguang. True. Oh, are you sure? Uh, absolutely no trouble at all. While we're at it, we can check out our old haunts. All right, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ningguang, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Very well. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte, follow me. <laughs> See you two later. Yo, they bringing out the, the, the French did. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? Paimon's not sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news too! True. <gasps> it feels like we're about to become famous. We're already famous. Yep, you're right. Okay, <laughs> why don't we start asking around at the docks? There's always a lot of people coming and going. Maybe someone's seen people trading cards there. Okay, fair. Uh, yeah. Round two, let's go. Oh, uh, it's this guy again, fish guy. I'll just count them. Hey there, got a question for you. Hey, look, I'm playing as Yolan. Ah, uh, hello. Ask away. If it's fish you want, I've got all the answers. Uh, actually, it's not about fish. We were just wondering, since you're here all day running your stall, have you seen anyone collecting card bags for Genius Invocation TCG? Mm. Genius Invocation TCG. Hmm. Afraid I don't know anything about that. Nothing? People come here for black back bass, but not card backs. Oh. Really? Sorry to bother you then. We'll try our luck 
somewhere else. Uh, don't you want to buy some fish to take with you? No. All my fish are super fresh, you know. No. Sorry. Yeah, have some salad with it. Oh, thanks for clapping. Oh, cute, dude. Never fucking do that again, <laughs> bitch. Who else am I going to see? This guy. Hi there. May I ask you a question? Cat. Sure, go ahead. I'll uh, 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 answer as best I can. Have you noticed anyone here collecting card bags for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Cover your mouth. Card bags. <laughs> Judge, stop! Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Stop sneezing on Paimon! Are you allergic to this cat? Sorry. Just before... <coughs> a girl in Inazuman attire walked by and I've... <coughs> been sneezing non-stop since. If you're allergic to cats, maybe don't blame the girl that walked past, but... Uh, blame the cat that's right next to you, dude! Well, take care of yourself and get well soon. We'll keep asking around. I'll be all right. Unreal. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never <coughs> prevail. Lightning terrified. There you go. I scared it away. Now stop fucking sneezing. Now this guy. Hi I didn't there. kill it. I'd like to ask you about something. Hmm? Oh, sure. Ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. No, it's right there. Have you collecting card backs? You know, for that really popular game, Genius Invocation TCG? Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. It's fine. We'll ask someone else. Oh, I really can't afford to wake up late next time. God damn it, going high. I feel that, though. <laughs> Me either. Uh, well, this guy has to a slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, you two. <gasps> Looking for someone? Kazu! Huh? I might know that voice. It's Kazuha! My man! Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Hello, my best friend in the whole wide world. It's been too long. How have you been? Very well, thank you. Even better now that you're here. Nice. Captain Beto needed to return to Liyue to take care of some business. So I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Hmm. Well, long story short. Paimon tells Kazuha that all that's happened recently. I see. <laughs> well, the harbor breeze is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. Not yet. Huh. Okay. Not yet. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way. It seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This genius invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely Wait. popular at the moment. We don't have a Kazu card Wait. yet, do we? Have you never played it before, Kazuha? No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated cards. She enjoys playing with the crew while enjoying a few drinks. A few too many, perhaps. Uh, believe it or not, people are upset at Kazu appearing in an event again as opposed to other characters in general. Imagine not liking Kazu. See, I understand not liking a character, right? But having an appearance in an event, I mean, when was the last major event that Kazu appeared in, right? 3.3, the ghost event? I mean, barely, right? Yeah, I don't know. If people are mad at a character appearing in an event, fucking sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> That's called a casket of tones. I don't know. And it helps you find players nearby, too. You should give it a try, Kazuha. The rules are pretty easy to pick up, and then you'll have a fun game to play with your friends. It's a perfect chance to learn. Hmm. Forging friendship through card-based combat does sound quite delightful. All right, then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Hell I yeah. I teach you. Paimon's watched the Traveler play a ton of times, so even Paimon's a master invocator now. After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you a casket of tomes. But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? It's probably Venti, He's dude. He's not dealing with that more urgent at present. Oh, good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Hmm. Now where should we go next? Go see Carrara. Huh? Hey, look over there. 
Do you think if you bark near her, she'd get scared? Is it the courier who Diona was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Comania Express? Yeah. Huh? It is. Do you know that company, Kazuma? Uh-huh. Yes, I've heard of it. They provide delivery services in Inazuma. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we go and introduce ourselves? I am down. <gasps> Whoa! Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Sorry, that was all just to do that. Fucking hell, dude. I'm so stupid. Hmm. Which way is it from here? I don't know. Where are you going? Hey there! You look lost. Need any help? You frightened the life out of me. <laughs> she meowed. Huh? Oh, I recognize you. Weren't you at the Catskill and Mondstadt? Yes. Yep. Paimon's name is Paimon, and these two are the Traveler and Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a strange <laughs> coincidence running into you again. Meow. Yeah. Hello. Hello. My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. We know. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas. Which is great for me, because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world. Hmm. Only downside is, I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. I mean, that's normal, sometimes, though. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. Uh, do you happen to know the way to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I... Feel like I've been going in circles all day. Her whole personality is being a cat. I mean, I disagree, but listen, hear me out for a second. If I one day grew two fucking tails, ears, and could turn into a fucking cat box that could run up walls, I think I'd make my whole fucking personality a cat as well. Yeah, we know the place. We'll show you the way. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Meow, motherfuckers. Uh, a cat being a cat? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here we go. The ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Hmm. That last line could use some work. Hmm. I'll help you. Here we are. This is it. Who tell? Oh, White's the Traveler in Paimon. What brings you here? We heard your epic rap battle of history and wanted to provide some help. And I see you've brought some friends. Clients, business partners, new associates. Mm. All of the above. Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Wait, this is the first time they're meeting? Oh, God. Kazu, you've been fucking protected for too long. Good luck, brother. Greetings, old friends and new. So... What brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? No. One touch that you journeyed all this way. It's not. No, no. We were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express courier, and we have a delivery for you. Okay, what did she I order, dude? For a signature. Let me see. Ah, oh, yes, I've been expecting this. I mean, it's got to just be a TCG pack, Delivery right? Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Bro, Say, where? Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> Do you reckon Luwacha works for Kirara's company? And she just says yes here. Paimon just appears. Up on end. She's scared, did. Stop scaring the new person. Guess that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. That was random. Not really. They're talking about delivering li live and dead bodies, and the watch is walking around with a coffin, did. <laughs> Could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five star review? Oh, God. Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Service this good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Well, nine's an even fucking weirder number than five, Hu Tao. Oh, you meant the Lugia true it was. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. 
but your enthusiasm means a lot. Huh. All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. You're welcome. Do you handle all the deliveries? No. Uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. Fair. I am a yokai after all. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon. Where is this cat? Oh. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. <laughs> Where the fuck Although, is it, dude? Uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. There's so many cats in this quest. They just keep me out and I don't see them. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? TCG. Oh, do you share a liking for poetry as well? Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Ah, yeah. There's no need for self-deprecation. Huh? I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. Are they flirting? Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time he's so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. <laughs> But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and oh. took the competition completely by surprise. I bet it's the thief! So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Because skill doesn't thrill unless you've also got style. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Paimon! Well, let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying, it takes two flint to light a fire? Yeah. The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Nah. Or does it? I love it. Oh, Paimon can never tell with who tell. Someone clip that chat. If I ever do the same thing as Paimon, clip it for Ken. I pay each other for respect before the fight. <laughs> for a compilation. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. Mm. See? New guy gets it. What did I say? A man of culture. True. You flatter me, Director Who. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. Oh, hell yeah. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. You can use my deck. Deck. Perfect. Paima really wants to watch you play. How about Paima gives Kazuha a crash course right now? Oh, the cat says it's, it's a white so cat. To offer their help. Cute. How can I refuse? Paimon explains the rules of Genius Invocation TCG to Kazuha. He's gonna get okay, fucking yeah. destroyed, dude. Paimon also included a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon Sensei. <laughs> sensei? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Paimon's never been called that before. Be called a lot worse, though. Well, Kazuha? Ready to go one on one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Oh, I bet he is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, Director Who. Any last words before the duel begins? Huh. One moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Oh, God. Wow. That was fast. Okay. All right. <laughs> Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa. Things are really heating up. Shh. Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. Ooh. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Oh, hell yeah. That was kind of badass, dude. <laughs> the birds are chirping. The weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Who of the Wangshan Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. Wait, that was actually kind of good. I kind of. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I don't know what that face is, dude. A bit of a jarring change of genre there. It was good, though. I, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. But the rhyme was a good rhyme. <laughs> My turn. She? Huh? What's that? Who down and comes to play a thrilling batch of GDs of a good GDG? <gasps> Breathe. Ah, I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. Talk about an exciting match, though. Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. Ooh. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. Huh? You really mean that? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, look, Paimon says his ego is inflated. She's floating. Hey, Paimon's always been able to float in the air. <sighs> well, Kazuha, did you enjoy Genius and Vacation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities. Kazuha's making everyone blush, dude. Swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tavat. Oh. Seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. Kecking? Kecking! When did you get here? Where'd you come from? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaedehara Kazuha? Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beto. Oh, bro, I really hope uh, Kawara thinks Kitching's an actual yokai or cat. <laughs> Just call me Kitching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. Kekwing. I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow. Oh, God. Kazu has already lined up his next opponent. Why so surprised? I'm not. Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius. Everyone wants a piece of Kazu lately, dude. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Mm, true. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius and Vacation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Hmm. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. And so begins Ka- wait. And so begins Kazuha's TCG journey. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. <laughs> Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Aware? Don't worry. It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. You're always listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Always watching. Always just there. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? Uh, actually, there's something we wanted to discuss first. All right. Back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Mm -hmm. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Nice. No, he missed it, I guess? No, I saw Hu Tao come up from behind. It, I don't know. It was funny, but... Card backs? You mean like the kind it's with Hu a chest design on it? <laughs> she always does yes, weird shit. Exactly, that's the one. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of oh. a potential client. Oh? I saw him playing a match against Chang Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chung Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chung Yun, and left. Bro, who those eyes are so like cool? To go talk to Chung Yun then. In that case, try Uang Hill. I think that's where he should be. If I may ask, what else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Snatching cards. Um, we don't know too much about him apart from his obsession with card backs. But apparently, he's stolen other players' cards before. I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's I wonder... the village, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Uwong Hill. All right. See you later. Good luck at the final, Director. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, Hugh. Hugh! Why do I have a feeling like the way that it was described then, where they uh, played Chung Yun for the Chung. card, it just makes it sound like not a card snatcher per se, like a thief, but just like a duelist who 
wants the stakes to be the other person's card. I feel like I saw that in Yu-Gi-Oh a lot as well. Is a card thief really a matter for the Millilith though? Well, it's, a th it's still a thief. That's like saying is a is a car thief really a problem for the police? You know, is a is a if someone's robbing people of items, then yeah, it's a matter for the authorities. It's still a crime. Sure, it's not as bad as fucking stealing a you know super expensive item, but some of the cars are super expensive as well. Crimes are crime. Robbing paper. Mm. Expensive pa money's paper. Is robbing a bank really a matter for the police? You understand now? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> No? Wait, you don't understand what I mean after that. You gotta be baiting. <laughs> you gotta be baiting. <laughs> Lil Fang, what's up? We're here to save the day. Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Huh? Paimon, we found you! Paimon, traveler. And... Hello, I am Kaidahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Yoon. Yo. Exorcist from Liyue. Everyone's me and dead. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide and seek. <laughs> I told little you not to hide anywhere too far away, but I've looked everywhere and I still can't find her. Aww. Uh oh, it could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. There's a hilly Joel. Um, we'll help look for her too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah. I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. <laughs> what do the tears of sweat look like? PNG just stuck there, dude, okay, sometimes. Then let's start looking in that direction. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go. We all know. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Oh, why God. Are we always running into these guys? Hey, everyone. Have a look at this. What have you found? Dog poop. Are those genius invocation cards? <gasps> oh. oh! I know that one! It belongs to little you! Her dad gave her a deck, and it's her favorite thing! She takes it with her everywhere! So little you is definitely here! But there's a fork in the road up ahead! Oh, which way should we go? Fork number three. Hmm. Wait a moment. Did little you's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Hmm. Yeah? A casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Mm, it can look at nearby players. Yes. As long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Quick, get our casket of tomes out! That's actually really smart, dude. That's really fucking smart. Mm, let's see. There's Chang Yun and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player! Must be little you. Wait, so I could always tell where Sino is at all times? <laughs> Technically, anybody could. How's it gonna sneak up on people? Interesting. Little you. Little Fong? You're safe! <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone so far away. Aww. I was trying to find a hiding place. But then I saw a bunch of really angry looking guys and I got scared. So I ran and ran till I ended up here. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. It's okay. Thank you for rescuing me. It's all good. Did you get things stolen now, from me? Off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> Paimon's glad she was okay. Me mm. too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the casket of tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh. Guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Chang Yun, we wanted to ask you about something. Oh? Oh, yeah. Pama describes the card snatcher situation to Chong Yun. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card backs. Oh? I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Whoa. Deep breaths. Stay calm. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. 
Exactly. Hmm. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Yeah, like bingo or it's time to do 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 Not a lot. Oh. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm. But I did hear him grumbling about how far away he oh God. is and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. He's already gone? He sure talks to himself a lot. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. Don't worry, leave the cost that it was. Sure. I'm counting on you. We got this. I believe. I believe. <laughs> Whoa. Is it just Paimon? Or did things suddenly get gloomier here after Chanyun left? Ooh. Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. That's an interesting one, actually. That's an interesting one. Holy shit. Wait, if this is the end of the Leowa one, dude, that was really quick. This can't be the end of the Leowa one. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. Mm. What? We missed the final again? Oh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. <sighs> You're back. Did you find Chongyun? Everything goes smoothly? a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so Hu Tao, did you win your match? <laughs> of course. Nice. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham bam, I'd like to thank my fam. My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings <laughs> of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible. Wink, wink. God. Can you guess what happened next? What happened? Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist, I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the pyro persuasion. It was all over before I could say, Pyre, Pyre, pants on fire. <laughs> Amazing, Hu Tao. You did so good. Wow. Sounds like your poem works like a charm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Director Hu's play style is rapid but graceful. Huh? Like a oh. lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Ah, oh, luck. <gasps> New one. key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, traveler? A little bit. Oh, it's Ningguang and Charlotte! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. <laughs> oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. First the traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. Oh. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Oh. Young samurai blocks the Muso no Hitotachi. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. Yeah, but he was so sad Leo about Mai. it. I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Aww. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to oh, mark God. the occasion, if it pleases you all. Bro, I'm not being funny, chat, but anytime Ning Wan comes around, I, I always feel like I've been looking over my head just to make sure the GG was chilling, you know, and just acting good, you know, just, just, just vibing up there, oh. still in place. And <laughs> Sounds like it's victory meal time. Not Captain missiling Wen. towards is it You'll uh, supersonic have to speeds? Me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. All right, see you later. This is great. We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Hell yeah. Inazuma, does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Yeah, and then it's gonna be Sumeru. <laughs> is what we do best. Well, okay, guess luck played a part in it too. I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue. So I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany <gasps> you to Inazuma. No. Okay. 
But remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills. You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection. Oh, you're getting pretty strict, Paimon Sensei. I've also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Oh, yeah? Already? Well, nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. Oh, the one he stole from Monster. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more for things of Wait, this nature. Wait, bro. <laughs> as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. Chat, the, the actual TCG die are so big. What? They're so big. I didn't think they were I that big. I learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Initially, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing their profits. Hmm. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. All I know is that despite being custom made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. True. Hmm. The mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn. It doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure to spill all his secrets sooner or later. Every journey into the unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. Also very true. But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevet. It is nice to see people from everywhere, dude. It is very nice. Damn, that's day two completed, dude. Holy. Hi there, my name's Charlotte. I'm a reporter for the Steambird. <laughs> Could I borrow a moment of your time for a brief interview? It literally will be uh, a moment. She talks quick. Sure. Go. You made a promising start in this competition, leaving many contenders in the dust on your way to the finals before narrowly missing, missing out, out on a championship, championship win when you, when you lost, lost to Director, Director Hu Tao at the, the Wangshang Funeral Parlor. Parlor. It must be difficult. Uh, it must be difficult for you knowing how close you came to victory. She talks so quick, With dude. This in mind, would you like to share your thoughts on how the final match played out? Uh, I did, Cayman. I did. I already took a look. Do you want an answer for the media? Or do you want my actual thoughts? Actual thoughts. I'd like to hear your actual thoughts, of course. <sighs> well, I've always said that playing cards is 70% skill and 30% luck. <laughs> but when your opponent rolls six dice of the same element at once, there's no coming back from that. Not even with Adeptus level skills. So there was no hope hey. for a mere adventurer <laughs> like me. Chat, you wonder my theory? You wonder my theory about why Charlotte talks so quick? I have a theory. I think it's actually March 7th in Pom Pom's outfit, and they were actually in Star Rail on the two times speed, and then they got zucked into Genshin, but they stuck at two times speed. By the way, does Captain Beto play Genius Invocation TCG by any chance? Probably. Yes. In fact, she's one of the best in the whole Crux fleet. Would you mind putting in a word for me, Kazuha? I'm a longtime fan of Captain Beto's. I always hoped I'd be friends with her someday, but so far I've never had the chance. Sure. But please be gentle when you inevitably defeat her in Genius Invocation. Ouch. Jesus. Wait, Ning Wang's by Charlotte to the right. Oh, yeah. Hey! I've heard that even the unofficial Genius Invocation tournament is enjoying a huge turnout. True. Many serious TCG players have registered for both the official and unofficial ones. As for me, I don't mind trying my hand at the trending games from time to time, though I still prefer chess. But I bet when it you comes do. down to it, whatever differences there may be between the various games around, they all share one important thing in common. They bring friends together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chess or chess. It's definitely chess. Oh Whoa, God, loyal. Look! Promo posters everywhere from the moment you arrive in the harbor. Oh, dude, Ito is gonna Ito's gonna be all over this event, right? Gotta be. Hmm. Paimon gets more and more curious about the two inventors of this game every time we see the posters. Hmm. You're not the only one. 
there's so little information to go off of that there's all sorts of wild speculations about them. Oh, bro, I have an idea. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany, while others say that they're not actually the inventors at all. Uh, what if they're the card thieves? By the inventors. Way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? Uh, I've only heard of it. I bought it, though. Well, well I stole it. It's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated that the author of the King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. What the fuck? Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Exactly. Which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumors. But that only fueled the debate further, and the book's sales skyrocketed. It can't be denied that the King of Invocations novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. True. Just look at the venue. They're almost treating this like a national festival. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. This is all Etho and maybe Ayato did. Be sure that the Fox Lady is behind all this. No shot. Really? Fox Lady? Well, maybe. Yaimiko's yeah, bit is so... Ito. Bro. She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales. True. People complain about Kazu being in too many events recently, and forget about Yai being in, like, every single event, dude. Oh, yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. I don't mind it, though. Although, in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. Sounds like bosses are the same everywhere. Hmm. As she should, Queen. True. Also, Sino. I feel like Sino's been in a lot. Uh, hello, Sino. Oh, I know. There's a lot of characters that have been in a shitload of events. I just, I just laugh at the fact that people complain that Kazu gets appeared in a lot of events. I don't think he does compare to other characters. I don't know. I would like more characters from uh, to be in other events though, like Deluke. <laughs> Hell yeah. The scenery in every nation is so different. This trip is really paying dividends. Hell yeah. Good thing that you're able to be so optimistic about it. It sounded like you were pretty much forced to come on this trip whether you wanted to or not. Pretty much. Uh, huh? Wait. Is that who Paimon thinks it is? <gasps> it's A! Oh god. Hi. You scare me. Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. Oh? Who is this? Ah, allow Paimon to introduce you. Huh. Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. And eaten. Anyway, this is Charlotte. She's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A. She's, uh... She's Inazuma's Archon. <laughs> what? Y you, you mean Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? God damn it. <laughs> Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I. <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right. Uh, I mean. Jesus. Okay. Oh, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Miko invited me here to experience the fun and festivities along with everybody else. You also dango milk? Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty food. And Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Mm. Sure thing. See you, Charlotte. That works. That does work. Hey! Hey! Wait, hey. Perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. Probably. Ah, uh, she's probably fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We've split up like this in previous places we visited, too. So, how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? I'm on bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. Do you think she's got like well, a big flat screen TV? In fact, I myself am competing in the tournament. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, really? You? Why is that surprising? Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment. And I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. How's the tournament been? I advanced all the way to the semifinals. The semifinals? That's amazing! So when's your next match? Nah, she probably got kicked out. Unfortunately, the semifinals yep. is where my journey ended. The reason being 
Yaimiko, Ayato, or Ito? Please tell me Ito destroyed A in TCG, please. That would be so fucking funny, dude. The reason being that she lost to me. God damn it. And when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. I did see that coming. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. <gasps> tricks? What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshukaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. True. What a unique friendship. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. Yeah, go on another dango Many date. Things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the divine light, just as before. In some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now that I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Can you fucking blame them, dude? They probably had wartime flashbacks. So you're pulling a massive sword out of your massive tits and fucking trying to annihilate an entire continent with it. Come on. Oh, dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. Yep. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh, I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway... You should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Oh, so Kokomi's your opponent in the finals? Koko? Mm -hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile Yo. comrade in arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. I so want Koko to win. Who will you support? Kokomi. <laughs> The nerve. <laughs> Saying that in the presence of me and A? Are you trying to find out whose lightning strikes faster? Uh, yes. Always. Literally all the time. Fucking try me. Miko, come on. No need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. Oh. The venue is right over there. Why not go and take a walk around? <laughs> oh, and if you meet my fellow finalist... Do pass on my regards. Oh, I will. Dude, I'm rooting for Coco. I love Coco, dude. I think Coco might actually be one of my favorite characters. Not based on story stuff, but just how the character acts. I love Coco, dude. I think she's fun. She's cute. Wait, talk to them. God damn it. Ah, I don't want to. Ethos here, dude. <laughs> I'll go back hey, if they're still there. Padre and Flying Lavender Melon. Well, hello there. Oh, gold checker. <laughs> been too long. Did you take a beat in the tournament? <laughs> what would this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? True. So, of fact, how far'd you the get? The whole Arataki gang showed up in force. Our goal? To bring home the grand prize. <sighs> As fate would have it, Boss was the only <laughs> one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. Oh, damn it. Hey, that's not the point. It was just some bad luck, that's all. I got matched against a strong opponent in the first round. Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way. Yeah? I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. <laughs> hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. <sighs> Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? The Sandy <laughs> Mama Mia? Whatever her name was. <laughs> Sandy Mama. Uh, Sangonomiya Kokomi? Watatsumi Island's military strategist? Yes, she beat me fair and square. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Sandy Mamma Mia! <laughs> oh god, I, I, I didn't see that one coming. Well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. If you want to win big here, you need style. <laughs> Sandy That's Mamma right. Mia! I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs were whack. What? What is he saying? Card backs and a player's skill don't have anything to do with each other. I lost my match because my backs were whack. <laughs> I fucking love Ito, dude. He makes every event just so much better. He literally is the spice of the events. I love him. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where you're wrong, Mini Milan. <laughs> it's just like how the strongest Oni Kabuto have the brightest colors on their back. If your cards look cool, oh. you'll definitely draw a better hand. <laughs> uh, speedle fighting and playing TCGs are completely different. 
In cards, you actually have to rely on your own skill. That's what you're wrong, uh -huh. Minnie Malone. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here weigh in, hmm? I'm with Ito. Uh, I think Ito has a point. See, I knew you'd understand. Yeah. And you know what? Since you're here, let's play a match to prove I'm right. No. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. You've got some pretty slick card backs. Hmm. No. The Traveler probably has cool card backs, too. I do. Maybe even better than yours. Okay, in that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody could win with that deck of yours. No matter who uses it. Hey, quit busting my chops! Sheesh! What do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? Great! See? This is what I call a true compadre! <laughs> <sighs> All right. I I'm just the checking deck, the then. deck. I just want to check the deck. Just remember to take it easy, you two. This isn't a high-stakes match. It really doesn't matter who wins or loses. Oh, shh, shh, shh. No, uh, do you guys hear that? It's the cry of my cards cheering me on in the wind. My cards, you mean. Oh, God. Ito Chung Yun and Razor. Against the, ain't no way in it. No, can I, can I exit? I don't actually want to do that. That's hell. No, that's just a straight up loss. I don't care. It's fun. Is it this? But this fucking card set up? Ain't no way, dude. All right, VOD watchers skip fucking 10 minutes where I die. If I was more engrossed in it, I'd have probably tried harder. I just, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> it better be worth the fucking dialogue, dude. I just want to do story. I don't want to fucking stress about TCG shit. <laughs> See? My theory was correct. What, that your deck is literal fucking dog water that is only fucking aggro, so you die in three turns? Don't let it get to you. You were using boss's deck after all. Exactly. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Actually, we were looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her around? Mm. Or... Arataki numero uno idioso so eloquently <laughs> called her the fish lady. True. You're one to talk, lavender melon. Okay, bullchucker. The match in the finals will be starting shortly, so she can't be far. Why don't you ask Kujo Sara over there? The Tenryo Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Hey, just remember that if you ever want to play another match, you can find me anytime. Oh, uh, for once, I actually don't want to talk to you for the rest of the day. <laughs> Go away. What's up, compadre? You here to play another game? Oh, no, no fuck worries. off. Oh, Kujasara, nice. Okay. Do Hi, it? Sarah. No, I'm not doing another what game. Have you seen her anywhere? Absolutely no shot. I saw her exit the venue after the semifinals, but she hasn't returned since. Oh. If you're looking for her excellency, <gasps> I believe she's currently Goro! near the Western Shore of Rito. I love Goro. Goro, good to see you. Yeah. Hello, you two. Is there something the matter? No. No, we just wanted to say hello to Kokomi. <laughs> that is something the matter, so I thought she'd say, now that say I yes. Think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Who are you rooting for, Sara? Please say Kokomi. Up till now, the almighty Shogun had my full support. Of course she did. Now that she's been eliminated from the tournament, in truth, I don't really care. God damn it. I don't thought for sure you'd be rooting for Miko. I certainly would, in the past. Oh? But now that the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi are on amiable terms, we're all friends. Those are exactly Her Excellency's thoughts as well. The point of a game of cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forward. That's cute. Mm. A commendable attitude. Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. She's likely trying to lead you into a trap. Oh? It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies <laughs> on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Friendship. Do not be mistaken. I speak only in the interest of fairness. Why do these lamps not let TCG die? Oh, wait, is that the point? The moment I saw the name Sangonomiya on the list of competitors, oh. I anticipated that she would make it into the finals to face the Almighty Shogun. I've watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts her strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. But after the Almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. Uh oh. Oh, so you want to make sure Kokomi's got oh, her on the other side too? Wow, trust Sara 
to make sure everything is fair and above board. Hmm. Thanks for your insights, General Kujo. Yo, I will be sure to sick, pass them dude. Along to her excellency. Wait, so Kujo Sara is giving Kokobi insider knowledge? Please let her know to get back to the venue soon. All right, then I'll get going. All right, bye. Oh, that's beast, dude. Uh, that is absolutely beast. All right, is that All right here we go. Here we go. Kokomi! Hi. Paimon? Oh, and the traveler's here too. I love Kokomi. Yes, we came to wish you good luck in the competition. <laughs> so, what are you doing out here, Kokomi? Taking in the view? Yes. The soothing sound of the ocean's waves do make me feel peaceful. But I actually came here hoping to see Watatsumi Island. She sounds different. Huh? Can you really see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look. Well, can you see it? Let's see. Uh, oh, that must be Kanazuka. And a little further than that, there's Yashiori Island. Mm. Mm. Nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narukami Island. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storms. True. Though the islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. I think a lot of the time when I say a character sounds different, it's it's usually just when we haven't heard that character in the game for a long time, right? Because when the fuck was the last time we heard Coco, dude? It was so long ago. Even when thank friends you, thank argue, you. they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. True. You okay, Kokomi? Oh, sorry. My mind was drifting to some more serious topics. You didn't join the tournament just to play cards. You're competing for other reasons, too. Yes. I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Mm. Yes. More people will be traveling between Watatsumi and Narukami Island from this day forward. I like how she says Narukami. Narukami. Even though we believe in different gods, we can all come together as friends by playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say that I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. Mm, you're using a simple game of cards to drive major social change. Yes, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Besides, my passion has always been in tactics and strategy. How could I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Oh, so you have your personal reasons to play too. Everyone does, apparently. <laughs> yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. Even Sara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. Ah, <sighs> yes. It seems that you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Mm. Oh, that's good to hear. Don't worry, Paimon. I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for the match. Nice. Wow, Paimon's really looking forward to the final now. And It'll be a fun Paimon one. swears that she's actually gonna see it this time. No matter what, Paimon won't let herself get distracted. Not even by all the tasty snacks <laughs> Also looking forward to it. Good luck, Kokomi. Kokomi. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Chat, so you know the replay feature? Is it basically... So can you, like... Can you watch other people's matches? Or did I totally just... Like, not live, but, like, after they've already been done, can you watch other people's matches? Or is it just your own? Just your own? Oh, dude, I totally fucking didn't understand what they were saying with that. I thought you could get like a code and watch other people's matches. That'd be so fun. God damn it. <gasps> oh. Yasuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Charlotte? Ooh, that's a nice title. Oh, that was cool. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? That's very cool. <laughs> I don't think the Electro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? Oh, wait a second. The real question is, how many times are we gonna run into Kirara? Constantly. Maybe she's the thief. Right? What are the chances? 
I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no more details on the card snatcher, unfortunately. Wait, maybe After she that, is. I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you too. I just realized she does typically leave before us because she's always at the other place first as well. Maybe she is the card thief. I'm sorry, you said the card snatcher? Oh, let Paimon explain. Paimon tells Cole could be everything that's happened recently. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I already have some insights regarding the truth of this matter. Really? That fast? Yeah. But that's a little complicated. And the finals are about to start. <gasps> the Let finals! Let put it this way, though. The key to this case is actually Kirara. Wait, but did I get it? Because I was going to say, you know what? The end of all the event stuff, you can always talk to the characters. Charlotte's always there. Kirara's never there, dude. Huh? Oh, wait, what? Me? Yeah. Somehow. Have you chatted with Kirara? I was starting to think the same thing. <gasps> Sorry, I don't have time to explain now. We'll have to continue after the tournament's finished. Okay, focus on your match, Kokobi. Uh, what should we do? Paimon's still trying to wrap her head around that. If Kokobi was only working off of what Paimon told her, how come Paimon can't find the answer? Oh, no. Oh, is Paimon really as dumb as a lavender melon? Yes. Let's watch the competition. Uh, Welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix Inazuman Regional Finals! Let's go! Our contestants are... Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine versus... Sangonomiya Kokomi! Can we get some crowd work? Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine! Crowd, anyone? Woo! Nice. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Without further ado, let the final match begin! Boom, 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 boom. It's starting! It's starting! Now, to find out who will play first. Flip a coin. You took your time. I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking <laughs> on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. I forgot about that. <laughs> you must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If we don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. <laughs> Yo, beast! Holy shit! Round one! <laughs> Begin! That's the first time I've heard someone talk back to Yai Miko, dude. The two play a close until they gave a genius invocation. Please, Kokomi, please. The winner is... Come on! Sangonomiya Kokomi! Let's go! Priestess yes! of Watatsumi Island. Basted! Hell yeah. Oh, just seeing that Kitsune Yokai made the fur of my tail stand on end. What do you mean by that? Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, congratulations, Kokomi. It was a brilliant victory. Thank you. Kokomi! That was a real nail biter, but you did it! That Miko is a crafty one. Pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated? <laughs> I don't know if that was the strategy. Then she played two cards from her hand that required oh, never to mind. the character cards. The Ito cards. Oh. It's pretty really close to turning the match around. Hi. Goodness, what's all the commotion over here? Discussing something interesting behind my back? Uh, not at all. <laughs> uh, Paimon was just saying what a real pity it was that you... Lost. Inazuma's always gonna be this the fucking the the place of intimidation, dude. We were intimidated when we arrived, we're intimidated in TCG. And then if we're not intimidated, Yaimiko turns up. <laughs> it's no pity at all. It was just a little fun competition. Mm hmm We'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? How about a rematch? If Miss Fried Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. However, the traveler here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle dude. they've been facing. Yeah. Oh, really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro instead. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. <laughs> <clears throat> now, back to our conversation. Kirara, oh. you've been delivering 
trading items between different nations for the past several days, correct? Yeah. That's right. I've had quite a few deliveries recently. I love Gaara. But what does that have to do with the card snatcher? The strange thing is that Kirara's delivery route has coincided with the card snatcher's movements at every turn. Yes. And therein lies the clue. They're either following her or Kirara is she the is card the card snatcher. snatcher. Huh? Hey, that's not true. I'm just out here doing my job. You can't just throw false accusations at a person. Uh, I mean, a yokai like this. Calm down, you two. Kirara's not the thief. Oh. Let me ask you, Kirara. Have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? Let me think. Senders have all been different. But there's one destination that keeps coming up in every region I've been to. Sumeru? Really? And what destination is that? Um, I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address. Bro. But I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Okay, please tell me it's the two people on the on the board of like the the the, the promotional posters and not Sino, dude. Were the contents light? No larger than the size of an envelope? Huh? Wait. Oh god. You're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? I used to hear stories about that when I was curled up on my grandma's lap. <laughs> No, I'm only the divine priestess of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military yeah. strategy. It's got to be the founders, Divination's right? It's not my field. It's got to be the founders or the two people if they're not if they don't even well, end up be the founders, but I, they probably will be. All I've said so far. Have you arrived at the same answer as me? Why does this look like a cutscene part cuz the blurred background well everything looks a bit blurry. This looks like a cutscene image. Uh let me think. Sumeru Oh. Oh god, it's one of these. No? Yes! yes. You nailed it. Huh? So the card backs we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along? But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kirara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. Hmm. I've thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than just one thief involved. Which really not one, but multiple card snatchers. Yes. The person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. Maybe it's just going to end up being a had already obtained treasure hoarder thing then. I hope it's together. not. I hope it's not just treasure mm. hoarder stuff. Now that I think about it, collecting all those card backs across so many nations would be near impossible for just one person. But why isn't the one we're following ever using Komania Express? Because he's too slow. He probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figure it at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. Hmm. After that, he's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. Interesting. I suspect that this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used the mora he was given to arrange shipments with Komania Express as funds to use for trading. Then there's another question now. Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Sumeru themselves? Unless there's a reason for them to stay. Yes, this is a question I'm still grappling with now. Uh... What is the thief's objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Unfortunately, there's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. Uh, uh, hey, don't look at me like that. I can't just open a customer's parcel. I can. If the company ever found out, I'd be fired on the spot. Just give it to me. Drop it. Do you want to go back to being a yokai in the mountains of Inazuma? No, we don't want to cause you any trouble, of course. At this point, maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. Hmm. Good idea. Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now. Maybe. But if the recipient really is a bad guy, then Kirara could be in danger. We should come along to make sure you're safe. I can beat up bad guys. Hey, I know my way around a fight too. I haven't had a single package stolen from me since I've started this job. Whenever someone picks on me thinking I'd be an easy target to take packages from, I send them running. I'm still concerned about your safety. Uh, let me think about it. All right, I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru. Pog. But on one condition. Uh-huh. You have to promise that you'll hide somewhere where the customer can't see you. In a box. Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering packages? No problem. You got it. Also, 
even if the customer is a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. Absolutely not. <laughs> Next up, Subaru! Oh, we're really traveling all over the place this time. Good luck. You'll have to tell me how everything turns out the next time we meet. Hell yeah. I'm down. I'm down. That was a good part. That was one of the better ones, I think. Uh, stop the card snatch. I think protect Goro is more important. Honestly, true. It kind of is. Wait, let's speak to these. Woo! That match between Fox Lady and Fish Lady really got my blood racing. This was practically boiling off my forehead. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure all of Rito knows how excited you are, but the gang's all waiting for us. Mm. We should be. Eh, they can wait a little longer. Oops. At least let my compadre and I play one last match. Fuck you. Go <sighs> away. Okay. Go away. All right, let's start day four of the event. I think this is uh, the final part, right? The Subaru part, I think. Go to the caravan. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Are we getting close? Which way should we go now? Down. We just need to head a short way towards the desert. It's not far. <laughs> Okay. I would recommend taking a bodyguard to protect you. If the customer does turn out to be rotten, you can let the bodyguard deal with them. I'm my own bodyguard. Good point. Hmm. A bodyguard. Paimon, I'm right here. We don't need a bodyguard. Oh, oh, <gasps> never mind. Yeah, we do. We need a bodyguard. Wow. <laughs> we need him. <laughs> well, hello, my boy. Good to see you. You too. Good to caravan, Rebot. Apparently, yeah. Remember, Paimon? We can't just disclose the customer's information. Yeah, we're going to track down a card thief. Oh, don't worry. This is Sumeru's General Mahamatra Sino. He's the leader of the Matra and always takes criminal activity very seriously. Uh-huh. Wow. How do you know so many powerful people? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you better get used to it, Kirara. You wouldn't believe the people I've met since I started traveling with them. Sure, she has met a lot. Do you have some time now, Sino? Or do you need to go participate in the Genius Invocation Tournament? Tournament? Oh, God. <laughs> the tournament has already finished. <laughs> of course it has, did. Really? Then how did you do, Sino? Uh, I am now the official king of invocations. In Sumeru, you are. Did you crush the competition? I used Forbidden Hand at the opportune moment and drew... Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I can explain it later. <laughs> anyway, I have time. I love him, dude. Great. Let Paimon catch you up on what's happening. After Paimon explains for some time. Uh, Paimon's parched now. How many times is Paimon gonna have to explain everything? This is like the fifth, I, I think, or fourth. You. As Paimon said, it's my duty to uphold the rules and punish evil. True. What do you think, Kirara? Let's go. Let's bounce. All right. But remember, you all should hide while I'm delivering the parcel. I know that this customer is suspicious, but they're still my customer until we have any concrete proof otherwise. Okay, we'll go hide. I wonder who the too far bro. Away. It's we fucking won't be able to hear anything you're saying. How will we know if you're in trouble? It's gotta be the uh two people on the posters. Not a problem. You can just watch my tails. <laughs> uh huh. Tails? You mean both of them? Of course, both of them. I'll come up with a way to have the customer confirm the contents of the package. If they turn out to be just an ordinary customer and the package doesn't contain the card backs, then I'll lower both of my tails. Okay. That will mean you can just stay hidden. But if they turn out to be the thieves we're after, then I'll... Turn into a box. Lay down. <laughs> huh? Why would she do that? It'd be a signal that we need to lay down the law. Oh. Hey, I'm not getting on the ground. That would be way too embarrassing. Besides, don't you think that would look suspicious? Yes. You think so? It would. Then maybe you can use your tails to pound your back. Why? Uh, and why would she do that? Simple. It'd be signal that she had found the backs we're looking for. Oh, oh. This is the first time I've met someone as creative with their words as I am. What Have don't consider a career in writing news headlines? Don't style? encourage him. Oh no, don't enable him. Okay, Paimon. Okay, if we keep standing around talking like this, the package is going to be late. Listen to me. If they're the thieves, I'll lift one tail up and keep the other one down. If you see that, then you can come round them up. You're not going to lay down? <laughs> no, 
I'm not laying down. Oh, God. That was another Paimon moment. Hey, they, they're climbing through the windows today, dude. It's kind of nuts. Oh, yeah, I can use no hitter's mind to read, I guess. I forgot about that. Use your pod. I will in an hour. The address is approximately 100 paces down the road from Caravan Rebop towards the desert near the first flaming flower. I do recommend leveling up Kuki, yes. Near the first flaming flower. Oh, we're here. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything here. There aren't any houses around here. Mm, maybe the recipient planned on coming here to personally receive the package. I've had customers do that in the past. Uh, we're still a little early. Uh, in the meantime, why don't the rest of you go find a place to hide? And remember, watch my tails for the signal. Okay. Wait, what was the signal again? She's not going to lay down, right? I will hide here. Oh, this is the hiding place. Nice. Oh, I should have read her. Fuck. I forgot. We'll hide here. My bad. This spot is hidden, but with a clear view. I'm unsure this recipient's up to no good. Who would pick up a package in a place like this? Who is it going to be, dude? I agree. It, it, please be the two poster people. But Imagine it's Tignari, dude. Reputation. We'll let her tell us what to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Can we not laugh? What? <laughs> As in her yes, tails? Yes, I get it. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Okay, Paimon. <laughs> After waiting behind the rocks for a while. Hey, look. Someone's coming. You from Komoni Express? Bro, okay. It's fine. That's right. You must be Mr. Dada Baba. Dada Papa? Dada Papa? Uh, yes, this is your package. Here you go. Hmm. Huh? What's up? I, I recommend that you open it and confirm the contents. I've been running to many places the past few days through all sorts of weather. The contents may have shifted, so it's best to check that everything's intact. No need. You haven't opened it to see what's inside, have you? Of course not. That would be mm. against our company policy. But if the contents are valuable, I would huh. still recommend checking them first. If anything turns out to be damaged, I could compensate you now. I <laughs> said no need, didn't I? Why are you so persistent? Dada Baba, it means grandpa father in Turkish. <laughs> grandpa father. <laughs> I like that. You know, boss, this little lady's out here all on her own. And? We could use that to our advantage, you know. Huh? Hey, you. Are you the only one delivering out here? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, that's right. I, I wouldn't bring a bunch of people with me to deliver a package. Uh, oh. I'm no good at lying. And I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere. Look, she's getting a signal. Oh, God. But, wait. <laughs> doesn't recognize that signal at all. <sighs> what does that signal mean, Sido? Uh, the, the, I nearly forgot. The, this just happens to be my 100th delivery. It's a really special moment for me. If you could let me know what I delivered, it would mean a lot to me. What? Her tails are moving all over the place. Does she need us to step in or not? That was a terrible lie. Her tails keep moving and intertwining. They keep pointing in different directions. Ah, maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions. <laughs> These people aren't the intended recipients. Ah. Seriously? There's no way anyone could get all that just from her tails. Something's not right. God damn it. I can feel it. And you seem real concerned about this package, Missy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's just part of my job we always care about the customer are you really not going to open it <laughs> god damn it come on boss enough talk yeah nobody will ever know anything happened way out here huh uh, then do you have a moment to leave a five-star review <laughs> sure i'll leave a five-star review what after you're dead <laughs> <laughs> that fucking escalated jesus <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I got a knife. Forget the signals. <laughs> what? 
What is this, dude? I <laughs> must <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Boss, she's got backup. Yeah, we fucking do, you little bitch. What are you afraid of? Get him. Maybe the general fucking Mahamatra. Based? Huh? Wait, that that Sino, the General Mahamatra. Uh huh. S Sino? Yeah, pussy. Oh, time to fucking die, little bit. Oh my God, look at my team. What the fuck? Ah! ah, 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 ah. There's so much happening. Things are about to get dicey. Oh. Kibara, are you alright? Oh. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Had I known you were here, we we, we wouldn't have. <laughs> wouldn't have what? Piss your fucking pants? Maybe shit? Cry a little? Too late for that. And I don't want to hear any whining from you two either. I do. Clear. I... Oh. Y yes. C crystal clear. General Mahamatra, I, I don't want to go to prison. Can't you just let us off this one time? Did you hear what you fucking said, you creepy little fuck? No, you should be fucking dead. That depends on how honest you are. We'll tell you everything. What a fucking weirdo, dude. What's inside the package? Cardbacks. Genius invocation TCG cardbacks that we collected from different nations. Are they the kind with a treasure chest design on them? Y yeah, that's right. Wait, mm. how'd you know that? Who are you? We're, we're just a group of treasure hoarders. That's all. Bro, I fucking said at the beginning, if it's just a group of treasure hoarders, they're going to be so pissed. There's no way. There's no way it's just a group of treasure hoarders. He's so in monster. There's no shot, dude. It better fucking not be. It better have deeper ties to, like, the other OG people or something. Some hoarders were getting fed up recently with just stealing small stuff. They wanted to, uh... Go on. They wanted to pull off something big. You know, not just in one nation. All across Tibet. Mm -hmm. All across Tibet? Yeah, we were planning to steal prized treasures from different nations all at the same time. After pulling off a job like that, everyone would recognize us treasure hoarders as the most powerful organization across the world. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. But, uh, seems like that's not gonna happen now. Obviously fucking not, dumbass. What does any of that have to do with these card backs? You literally brought a knife to an elemental fight, including with Sino. Well... The problem was we didn't know how to communicate our master plan to all the other treasure hoarders. But with how popular Genius Invocation TCG has become recently, somebody suddenly came up with the idea to use cards as a way to communicate our plans without being detected. What? Okay. So you were the ones who printed these card backs. Yeah, because every treasure hoarder knows what to do once they see a treasure chest. What? First you bury it so no one else can take it, then just add a little bit of... Hey, shut it! You're giving away all our plans! What the fuck? <laughs> it appears you consider this ridiculous plan of yours more valuable than your own life. What is happening? Uh, no, 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 I'll talk, I'll talk. Yeah? All you need to do is cover it with some wet dirt or sand, then wipe it off after a while. Hmm. And it'll look like this. My fellow hoarders, this is the big job we've all been waiting for. Take up your daggers, put on your masks, and round up your sumter beasts. Ain't no way. Oh, and for those of you without sumter beasts... <laughs> seriously? That's all it says? Ugh, what a waste. Hey, what do you mean, waste? That message will mobilize the treasure hoarders. Yeah? He, he's right. The time and the other details are printed below that. The time on C. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Objectively speaking, it's definitely a creative method of communicating information. But then why were you trying to retrieve these card backs? I... To make more? It's all because some fellow hoarders got addicted to genius invocation. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I, I, is this happening? All they needed to do was stick to the plan, but they couldn't help themselves and started playing the game. Not only that, they were even using our card backs and showing them off. But that wasn't the worst of it. Some of them ended up losing our card backs to other players. Ah, you were afraid that your plans would be exposed, so you dispatched members to quickly retrieve the card backs that had been scattered into the markets. 
not just the ones on the markets. We collected all our treasure chest card backs and we had them shipped back. We feared that our plans had already been discovered. So we were preparing to print another set of card backs. Uh. They would indicate a different time to initiate the operation. Then we'd redistribute them. Mm -hmm. But to take every precaution, we raised funding for everyone to send us the backs via Comini Express. That way we could guarantee the card backs would arrive safely and on time. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks for the compliments. Oh my god, Karara. So the senders <laughs> would stay at their original location to ensure that the operation could continue moving forward. Now that I think about it, that must be why the treasure hoarders came after the person who sold the card back in Mondstadt. Yes. Oh, right. It's no wonder we were running into the treasure hoarders left and right. They wanted to be sure that anyone involved stayed quiet. It's not like the second we ran into them, I was like, please don't just be treasure hoarders when it keeps showing these two mysterious people on the thing. I wanted it to be them, dude, or something interesting. They're treasure hoarders. There. I told you everything I know. They've got to come Hopefully up still. that will help us make up for our mistakes. Please, maybe it is them. Sino, show us mercy. Maybe they are treasure You'll hoarders. Each receive your due punishment. Enough talk. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, right, let's go. Imagine if a harbinger just comes down. <laughs> Fucking addicted. Imagine Piero's just addicted to TCG, dude. Ay, ay, ay. I've taken care of the criminals for now. I'll be escorting them back to Sumeru City shortly. Thanks for all your help. I was only fulfilling my duty. <laughs> you all did well. Duty. Sino seems like a completely different person when he's working. He is. All right. Goodbye for now. Hey, oh, wait, wait. wait. I still want to interview the champion of the Sumero Regional Tournament. Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Sino. Oh, no. What were your thoughts about the tournament? And did you have anything to say about the treasure hoarder incident? Hmm. Don't crack a joke. Genius Invocation TCG is a very good game. But to me, it's not just a game. It's an art form. It allows people to meet others, make friends, and experience the joy of dueling together. Oh. I hope everyone can have the chance to experience the fun of playing this game. Why do I feel like he's speaking directly to the audience, breaking the fourth wall? <laughs> Great answer. That'll be a perfect ending for my news piece. True. Therefore... I assure you that I will personally bring judgment to any criminals out there with the delusions of desecrating this game with their evil plans. No matter where you run or where you hide, you will not escape the punishment of lightning. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, let's stay calm. No need to get worked up. Jesus. Now let me think. God damn, Saito. Hmm. Not so genius thieves behind mysterious treasure chest card back plot finally um... got decked. <laughs> you get it? Like cards and punching. Yes, that'll work nicely. <sighs> These two make quite the team. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. If that's all, then I should get going. So I feel. Hear me out, chat. Hear me out. I think I know the reason why Sino is in a lot. Well, technically, I think every single one of the of the uh sumeru events so far and it's because he is to sumeru what ito is to inazuma dude he is the best part of this whole thing he is i'll inform the other areas not to be gained by these thieving treasure hoarders <laughs> well let's play a game of genius invocation next time we will hell yeah Jesus. It turned out that the group of card snatchers we were tracking was the treasure hoarders all along. Uh-huh. Still feels a little disappointing, though. Paimon thought for sure those card bags would lead us to some valuable treasure. Don't say that. Think of the bright side. We uncovered a major international crime scheme. Oh, I definitely have everything I need for my exclusive news piece. Nice. If anything... Paimo regrets that we didn't get to see the mysterious inventors of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> it seems everyone can't stop talking about that game. It's fun to play cards and meet new friends. In that case, how would everyone like to join me for oh, a very shit. special delivery? Huh? You mean it's related to Genius Invocation TCG? Probably to the OGs, mm -hmm. right? That's right. You'll understand when we get there. I think I already understand. Dude, Sido would have loved oh, to see really? that. Didn't you say before that you can't disclose customer information? Yeah, but this time the situation's different. 
Let's just say this delivery wasn't assigned to me by the company. This package had been sitting at the company for some time because we could never locate the recipient. Even the neighbors didn't know where you went. Oh, so the company eventually took ownership of the package? Yep. The holding period passed just last month. Huh? But can't you just return it to the original sender? Well, it turns out the sender has passed away. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. And I thought both the original sender and intended recipient would be disappointed if this package is left undelivered. So, I took the initiative and started asking around Sumeru in my free time. Eventually, I found out where the recipient went and also learned a little about his past. Wow, amazing! So who is it? Well... <laughs> oh god. You'll have to come with me and see. Alright, let's I have go. A feeling that it'll be good to have some true genius invocation TCG players like you come along. Oh, sounds like Besides another new story brewing. Dude, I'll tag along as well. Huh? Oh, now Paimon's really curious. What do you think, Traveler? Shall we join her? Uh, yeah. All right, then follow me to Vimara Village. God damn it, dude. The clues pointed to Vimara Village, but I'm not sure of which house they live in exactly. Guess we'll have to ask around. Huh. Any idea what the recipient looks like? I only know his name is Garvapidum and that he's a scholar from the academia. Garvapidum. Got it. Huh. Interesting. Wait, this guy? Oh, that's Zadith. Hey, Zadith. Hi there. Do you know where Garvapidum lives? Hmm. Uh, I'm afraid I've never heard that name before. Uh, he's a scholar from the academia. Oh, yes, there is a scholar around here, but I've never heard anyone go by the name you mentioned. Uh, are you sure you've got the right name? Uh, hmm. Actually, I'd like to ask him a few questions myself regarding which of the six Darshans to join. Hmm. Sounds like he doesn't know. Hmm. Let's go ask someone else. Interesting. Very interesting. That is, uh, I don't really get that. Hey there! We're looking for a scholar named Garvapidum. Garvapidum? I've never heard of him. Huh. Uh, wait, uh, do you mean that newcomer that arrived a few days ago? Oh, someone just moved here? Huh? Yes, that's right. He looked pretty anxious, though, almost like he's struggling to complete a thesis. I've seen him speaking with the village head, probably looking for a place to stay. Who's this VA? This is gonna sound very strange, but you remember Marco's character? This character has the same like intonations as Marco's voice. Like maybe not for the character, but just in general. You know the the way it's the rasp. It's the it's it's the it's not the tone. It's not the it's, it's the way that they talk. I like it. Vimara Village is the perfect place to it's take that a vacation and relax. But it goes deep. Which is why and I it chose to come. Goes back like hollow. I like it. Got it. Thank you. We'll go talk to the head of the village. Don't mention it. If life is ever treating you hard, you can always come and live here for a while. Yeah, I, I, that's a that's a cool voice, dude. That's a cool voice. I like that voice. Oh, he's here. Vamar. Oh no, it's not Amadaya. I don't think. Hello, are you the head of the village? There's something we'd like to ask you about. Yes, that's me. Go ahead. Do you know where a scholar by the name of Garvapidum lives? We'd like Wait, to talk to him. Maybe it is him. He's old. Garva Pidum. Ah, oh. that must be him. Never mind. You know him? Yes, I do. He came here to rent a place to stay. He said he needed to unwind a little. Many voice actors start as the NPCs, then actually get to voice the full character. Yeah, and then some people start as Sino and then voice every NPC. <laughs> Did I, did uh did I just start a side or an NPC? I think he actually started as an NPC in Leeward, didn't he? And that, dude, that quest the other day was fucking hilarious, dude. That quest is so funny because there was like four different NPCs in like one quest that were all voiced by Alejandro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Has ever seen it come out since he moved in? Oh god, he doesn't seem to be very outgoing. I don't know if that's his way of unwinding, uh, but I'd say he's just. Keeping himself cooped up. Hmm. Are you friends of his? Yeah. Kinda. You could say that. A little bit. Hmm. Her tails are moving again. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? 
<laughs> the face. Uh, I see. I was thinking that it'd be good for some friends to check up on him. Mm. He's staying up above. Look for the house in the corner. You should be able to find him there. Great. Thank you very much. Why? Don't mention it. I just want to see people who come here be happy. Nice. That's cute. I will have order. <laughs> I'm curious as to where the fuck this is going, dude. Hello? <laughs> this is the place. Let's try knocking and see if he answers. Okay. Um, hello? Anybody home? We're looking for Garvapitum. Oh, yes, that's me. Can I help you? Hello, Mr. Garvapitum. I'm Kirara. I have a delivery from Comania Express. I'm afraid the package is quite late. I thought it looked older. I don't know. A package. For me. Yeah. Yes, it's from a Mr. Gulab. What? Gulab? But how is that possible? Hmm. Yes. It seems your friend submitted the package to our company before he passed. Friend? <laughs> Some friend I am. There was nothing I could do about his illness. And I wasn't by his side during the last moments of his life. Don't say that. After all, you and Gulab are the creators of Genius Invocation TCG. I'm sure Gulab would have been happy to know how popular the game has become. Say what? He's one of the creators of Genius Invocation TCG? Yes! <sighs> Why? Why does it seem that misfortune always befalls geniuses like him? Um, if you don't mind, perhaps you could talk to us about oh, it. Thank you. It would probably help you feel better. She fucking really is just like March, dude. That just reminded me of when Kakulia went kaboom and then fucking she was like, NICE! With Bronya right there, dude. Hey, maybe we can get a news story out of this while you're here, you know? We're all here, we might as well. Hey, Sino, what's the headline? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> God damn. You're right. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you. I don't know. Uh. You really wouldn't mind listening? Mm. You'll feel better, I guess. All right, then. It's not much of a story, really. Oh, wait, are we going to get a cutscene? I knew Gulab Damn it. ever since we were kids. We were classmates and grew up together. Other than the bandages on his arms, you could hardly tell he had Elazar. Oh. He was always positive, peaceful kind later we both entered the academia and he became a ratawahis dastur mm. if i remember correctly that's a pretty high position <laughs> yes he really was that smart but before long the elazar got worse and led to some serious complications after that he became bedridden he received treatment in the hospital but had to abandon his research. Skill issue? Should have stayed alive till 3.2? Hey, Sui. How's Baiju's cough doing? I would go see him in the hospital every day. Even though he said there was no need for me to visit so often. He must have been worried that he was taking time from your own research. I know. But I couldn't bear to just leave him like that. He was clearly the smarter of the two of us. <laughs> well, I'm taking care of him, goddammit. <laughs> we would have some free time whenever I visited him, so we took some cards and started painting them. Aww. Over time, those cards became the basis. I wonder what the first ever TCG, TCG card was. A game that was born from friendship. My friends are my power. It's not only a game. When we were designing it, I deliberately incorporated some theoretical knowledge of the elements. Huh? I was originally waiting for him to recover so we could study the subject together. Oh. But in the end... It didn't even oh, matter. Don't be sad. Genius Invocation TCG is the result of your research together. Not to mention, a lot of people are enjoying it now. <sighs> After he passed away, I tried to play the game with someone else. But every time I looked up, all I could see was his silhouette. It was as if he was still sitting there at the table. God damn. I know it was all in my head, though. Huh. Paimon understands. 
Paimon wouldn't ever be able to get used to being away from the Traveler. Paimon would probably find herself talking to the wind, as if the Traveler could hear. Yes, Aww. everyone else has told me that I have to move on and embrace the fun of Genius Invocation, saying that I'm one of its creators. Mm. But to be honest, without Gulab, what meaning does the game have anymore? Garvapitam, perhaps you should see what your friend sent you in the package. True. It's a dual disc. <laughs> oh, right. Hmm. What's this? A letter? Hmm. Oh, nice. My dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you a letter like this. It's because... Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Nice animation. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. That voice sounds familiar. Okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the academia. Danger hey, chicken. enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the academia anyway. Based. Hey, it's your turn. <coughs> Gula, are you okay? <coughs> Quick, play a sweet madame. Pitum. You must understand. My Elazar. Hey, don't talk like that. You just need some more rest. Huh? It's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Yeah. Guess what? This game we invented is getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. You did all that in the this hospital? Way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I Just stop! You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! Damn. I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Aww. Now it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side. That's fucking cute, dude. That's so cute. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. He got a hydro vision. Gulab. That rascal. He was always this way. Oh no, he's got the mushroom tears. Oh no. Wipe him. I haven't played much Genius Invocation myself. All I know is that it has brought joy to a lot of people. As a true TCG player put it, the game allows many people to meet others, make friends, and experience the joy of dueling together. That's right! We've seen that firsthand on our journeys recently. Mm. I can tell you those stories if you're interested. Thank you all for your kind words. Good friends never truly leave. They stay with us in another form. You're right. <laughs> Gulab. Is that what you were thinking when you left this letter? I've always kept your casket of tomes with me. It was so special for you to draw me a card like this. What a waste it is to never have used it. If he were here now, I know he'd say, Hey friends, how about a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Well, <laughs> what do you say? I, uh, hey, listen, hey, li oh god, uh, it's, it's, the sun's going in and it, I, fuck, I've got to get all the way fucking back to a fucking monster, dude, it's, it's far. <sighs> yeah.
You played a joyful match of genius with God. Oh, nice. We played it already. Let's go. Gothapidum seems to be feeling better. Paimon even saw him crack a smile when he was playing just now. It always takes time to heal from pain from the past. But I think this is a good start for his road to recovery. True. Yeah. It was a good thing that Kirara kept track of that package, even when they were unable to deliver it. When my boss asked me to take care of it, I had a feeling that it must somehow be delivered. I couldn't just let it be abandoned. Would you say that was your yokai intuition kicking in? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess I just didn't want to let the sender sentiment go to waste like that. Nice. Anyway, I think this is where we'll say goodbye. See you in Fontaine, Charlotte Pom Pom March. Oh. Uh, are you going back to Fontaine now? That's right. Who would have guessed that I'd still get such a quality story after the tournament had finished? True. It's going to take me a few days just to draft the articles alone. Oh, by the way, I still haven't had the chance to interview you two all this time. Uh... After all that we've witnessed on this journey together, do you have anything you'd like to say? We made a lot of new friends. We learned a lot about GDSification, TCG. Yeah. You could say the best thing we got out of this adventure was the new friends we made. I understand. I'll be sure to work your comments into my exclusive news piece. <laughs> Just be sure to buy a copy of the Steambird when you visit Fontaine. And I should get ready to head back to Inazuma. I still have to report everything to my boss. This is the worst part about events, dude. Everyone go in their fucking separate ways to leave us until the next patch. <laughs> Will do. I'm sure we'll all see each other again soon. And maybe we'll play Genius Invocation TCG if we have the chance. Oh. Are you got uh, chat? I just realized I didn't read anyone's mind with Nahida. God fucking damn it. Yeah, I don't know. This makes me depressed because now like, it's just waiting again. Oh, we got a card. Oh, it's definitely going to be that. Uh, What do you call it? Well, how do I how do I check it? Oh, what's the story? Good friends never truly leave. They stay with us in, a, in another form. Bosom friends. Oh, it's cute, dude. That's all right. Want to play a game of Genius Invocation? Oh. But before we play, I got one thing to say to you. If you're already tipsy from drinking today, then the game will be over in three rounds. Hmm. In three rounds? <laughs> Sounds like you're underestimating your dear father. I'm pretty sure I could drag the game out to at least uh, five rounds. Huh. And you'd still lose. You think that's something to be proud of? Last time we played, you mistook the Hydro Elemental dice you rolled for Cryo. Ugh, so annoying. I mean, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a problem with my eyesight. No, you have a problem with drinking. Don't try to cover it up. All right, God all right, damn. I know. Drinking is bad. I won't drink today. Not even a single drop. Oh. There, happy? I guess so. Oh. Now, if I do win, what's the prize? Wine. What? You tried to get me to mix you a drink? Oh, you, 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 don't you even think about it. Uh, what if I win in under five rounds? <laughs> in your dreams. I will lose. Let's start. God damn it, dude. That was pretty cute. What are you th doing? Charlotte looks like a four star to you. Sin. So... You leave for a few days and come back with some serious TCG skills. Care to explain? I was fortunate enough to have played a match with a skilled opponent. Mm. Oh? And who might that be? Oh, wait, let me try to guess. Ah, uh, he <laughs> really doesn't have the time for this sort of thing. Hmm. Shangling and Shinyan aren't usually practicing <laughs> either. Yeah, all the time's taken up by fucking chess, dude. <laughs> if Yao Yao were free, she'd be running down to the ship to say hi to everyone, so that rules her out. True. Huh, could it be the Traveler? Did he happen to be in Liyue Harbor? I did, but no. Sorry, Captain. You still haven't guessed it. But I did happen to see the Traveler and even forged a new friendship over cards. Oh, made a new friend, huh? Then I won't be able to guess it. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I met Hu Tao. Director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Have you heard of her? Yeah, I've heard of her before. I isn't she the one that yep. won the King of Invocations <laughs> Grand Prix in Liyue? Yeah, you got smoked. <laughs> That's right. She said that she's been an admirer of yours for a long time and hopes to make your acquaintance one day. 
Well, she will whether Beto likes it or not one day. All right. There isn't a better opportunity. Huh? We'll invite her aboard to play a few matches, and I'll get a taste of playing against a champion. Oh, speaking of which, perhaps I should go find her personally at the no. Wong Sheng funeral parlor. I don't think so. You know, to show yeah. some sincerity. I think that's a bad idea. I, th I think that's a bad idea. I don't know. Wait, he's here. <laughs> Traveler, what a coincidence. Hi. Sino already told me everything that happened. Uh, ab about Sino's unfunny jokes. I'll stop you right there. <laughs> Sino has already told me countless jokes with that smug look on his face. I don't want to hear any more. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that topic. Okay. About Genius Invocation DCG. Things have been quiet in the Avidia Forest lately, so I've been playing with Kale every now and then. Oh. Kale never ceases to amaze me. She even managed to place well in that tournament. Based. Even though I was able to make it out of the qualifiers, luck wasn't on my side and I faced Sino only a few matches in. That guy shows no mercy when it comes to Genius Invocation. He even let out a loud yell when he played the winning card. It really hurt my ears. It's been a while since I've seen him get so stirred up like that. I'll be on my way then. No need to be so polite. You should visit again when you have the time. Wait, oh yeah, it'll be Kokomi and... Wait, is that what that's me? It is, right? Yeah. We're gonna get to see Kokomi and Kujosara probably. Because they said they were gonna have a TCG battle, right? A TCG duel. Oh, it's just Kokomi. Hi. Oh, oh, did you make the trip all the way back here just to see me? <laughs> about the thieves, Kokomi, about the thieves. Oh, so that's what you uncovered in the end. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But thank you for letting me know. Hmm. Hearing how things ended almost feels like reading the end of a light novel. Now we can all rest at ease. How do you know the locations of the characters? Because chat's telling me. <laughs> About the tournament. Winning or losing isn't what's most important. It's about playing with elegance. That's how I've always looked at it anyway. Hmm. After seeing you all cheering for me, though, I suppose I really tried to bring my best to the game. <laughs> now that I think about it, it was great that I was able to speak with you before the competition. Energy plus five. <laughs> Mention that to anyone? I'll be right with that. Since you came all the way to Watatsumi Island, you might as well rest for a moment before you return. Are you invited me back to your place? You stay in your heart forever. Dude, I fucking love Kokomi, dude. She's so fucking cute. She's so fucking cute. Ayaka could never. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ayaka Stans, please, please. It was a joke. It was, don't fucking come at me, okay, motherfuckers? She could, probably.